Alright guys, this is me Joshua, aka Future Film Academy for you here once again. As you are seeing my voice is starting to I'm starting to feel a little better. But I wanted to go ahead and do this review anyway. Now I'm it is Saturday as I'm recording this, so by the time you see this it will be on April first. So I'm going to talk about Avengers Age of Ultron, which it says uh, here on Entertainment Weekly, Marvel's biggest movie ever. Infinity War is the second biggest for me. Now, as you can see, again, this is the highly anticipated sequel to the highest, one of the highest gross superhero movies ever, one of the highest grossing films 2012 ever, and one of everyone's favorites of 2012 The Avengers this is once again written and directed by Joss Whedon stars Robert Downey Jr Chris Evans Chris Hemsworth Jeremy Renner Mark Ruffalo Scarlett Johansson Samuel Jackson Colby Smalls returning with Paul Bettany Aaron Taylor Johnson Elizabeth Olsen and a couple of other returning MCU Cast members. Now, I did originally review this, the movie back in 2016, but I wasn't too happy with how that review was. So I decided to go ahead and redo the review for this movie. So let's get into it. Basic plot of this movie is that all of the Avengers Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Captain America, they are all is lost it from saving the world all the time. And so Tony Stark decides to create this artificial intelligence as part of the peace dumb keeping program. And the artificial intelligence becomes Ultron. But little does he know that Ultron is not built to save people. He sees humanity as a threat and he wants to take on humanity and destroy it with the help of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch who later in, in the end of the movie this is going to be spoilers Phil by the way um, joins the Avengers and turns against Ultron and also in order for them to save the world they must put all the other Avengers must stop blaming Tony because Tony is the one who created Ultron and they, they have to work together with those two new recruits as well as another recruit Vision which is created and they have to take on Ultron and stop his plan from destroying humanity now the reason I decided to describe the plot in my own interpretation so yeah now Avengers Age of Ultron this was everyone's Everyone was so excited for this movie. They were saying this is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And then, how? Why wouldn't it be great? You got Joss Whedon coming back. You got the original cast coming back, and you got Kevin Feige producing. So <clears throat> we got a lot of awesome trailers that made this look like it's going to be dark, and still keep the MCU humor, but. Then when the movie come out, a lot of people were polarized on it. Some people love it, some people hate it, but the majority of this movie seems to be nothing but hatred. They say it's the worst MCU movie, it's one of the worst superhero sequels ever, but me, ever since I first saw this movie, I loved it. I still love this movie. Now, this movie is not all that bad. I don't have... I have little to no problems with this movie. I only have two problems. Well, mainly one problem. But it doesn't... It's not going to hurt the grade or anything. But I'm going to, going to spend this time defending this movie. And praising this movie the way I think it should be praised. Because this movie isn't all that bad, in my opinion. Now, the first thing people have a problem with is the Hulk and 
Black Widow love story. And people say Joss Whedon is feminist, is sexist. People, I don't believe Joss Whedon, Joss Whedon is not feminist. I think people just did that just to hate on him for what he did to Black Widow. Black Widow is an awesome female character. And Scarlett Johansson, once again, does a great job in this movie. I think Scarlett Johansson does great. And Mark Ruffalo does a good job. Now, some people say they will prefer the Hawkeye. But, spoilers, he has a family of his own in this movie. Play... His wife is played by Linda Carlini, who that was pretty cool to see her in the movie because I haven't seen her in anything else since the Scooby-Doo movies. So, it was great to see Linda Carlini in a movie like this. And I don't mind the love story between Hulk and Black Widow. I think it's very cool. I think it's very interesting. Yes, you do get some backstory of Black Widow and... I like the backstory that they went with her. It's not a lot of backstory, but it is backstory for her character. And while they were making this movie, they did have to use doubles and CGI. Because Scar Johansson was pregnant at the time of making this movie. And I think that was a good combination of stunt doubles and actual Scar Johansson doing it. And CGI. So... To hide the pregnancy. That was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. Another people. Complain. Another thing people complain about. Is that. Ultron. They say Ultron is not intimidating. He's not a good villain. He makes jokes. <clears throat> well. I didn't mind Ultron making jokes. I loved. Seeing Ultron make jokes and also being a very great intimidating villain. And James Bader played the heck out of Ultron. He is great. And without Ultron, this movie would have not worked if it was Loki again. But I love Ultron. He's an awesome villain. The motion capture work and CGI work, yes, there was... I believe Andy Serkis had a hand in the most capture for Hulk in this movie and <clears throat> Ultron in this movie. I think that was really good. I think that was really awesome. I think that was great and I think it was fantastic for them to do. So I have to say that was a major fa fascination on the that the Joss Whedon's part and Marvel's part. And yes, people complain that the movie feels rushed. I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah, there was supposed to be an extended cut. I guess they're, they changed their mind. But I still want to see an extended cut of this movie. Because I love this movie too much. <laughs> but anyway, Ultron, I think he's a really great villain. He's my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe villain. That has an unpopular opinion. I do love Loki. I do love Killmonger. But this villain, I love him. And some of the lines he has, like, You eyes only to fall. When the dust settles, the only thing living in this world will be metal. I'm like, wow! Every time he's on screen, I cheer. I cheer. And another people likes to... Another thing people likes to point out is that this movie does not feel like... A standalone Avengers movie. To me, it feels like an Avengers movie. They're just just adding some MCU stuff to set up for future movies. I like the idea. I find this a movie that is pretty good on its own. And I don't mind the MCU standalone stuff. I don't mind the whole backstory with Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Which I'll get to. But let me just say... I think that it, I think it really plays into a good part in the movie, and I don't see what's so wrong with setting up future MCU movies. Hell, I I like Thor Ragnarok. I like that movie, but it didn't really feel like an MCU movie. I movie I respect. You know what I'm trying to get to, but anyways, I do love. Love that those parts. I guess my only complaint really is that, yeah, in 
one or two scenes, it does feel like it's kind of Russian stuff, but... I can forgive it because I was still having fun with the movie. I still enjoy the movie, nevertheless. Now, let's get into all the awesomeness. From a production standpoint, this movie is really well done. Joss Whedon did an amazing job writing and directing once again. And I know he was being rushed, but I thought he did what he could. And he did leave Marvel after this movie. And I think you did a really good job. And it boggles my mind that the same guy who gave us these two great Avengers movies, who gave us Serenity, Firefly, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, Dollhouse, and gave us a good, awesome MCU TV series like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I am still loving, by the way, gets hated on and bashed on for Justice League. That's kind of unfair. He did the best he could. Yeah, I know about the Warner Bros. mandate with that movie, but I'm not going to go into that details. I still like that movie, but this movie I also love too. Joss Whedon, he did a really good job. The cinematography work, the camera work, the way the action scenes are shot, are framed, are lit and created. I like how they did that. Acting-wise, this movie is really good. Again, once again, I've already talked about Scarlett Johansson. And Mark Ruffalo, he does a really great job, too. I've already talked about those when I was talking about the Hulk and um, Thor st stuff. I mean, Hulk and Black Widow love story. But let's get to the rest of the cast. Once again, you got Robert Downey Jr. He's great. He is Iron Man. You can't be better than... Robert Downey Jr. It's impossible. Y you would have a very tough time casting someone else in that role. And he's just fantastic. Chris Evans is Captain America. Steve Rogers, he's freaking awesome. Freaking phenomenal. I like him. He's fantastic. And like I said, also, I also, I have talked about James Spader. Like I said, he's great too. Um, and, um, and the performances are really good. Now, everyone else does a really amazing job. I love everyone else. They are fantastic. Let me just say right now, Chris Hemsworth is Thor. He's really amazing. I really loved his performance. I think he was really amazing. And Chris Hemsworth, he's awesome. What do I have to say? Also, Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's really good in the movie, and I think he's fantastic here. I think he's amazing, and he's just, he has an amazing performance, and I think Aaron Taylor Johnson is quick, so he's really good. Yes, I, I, well, I did hate how they kill him off in this movie, but I like that. He sacrificed himself for Hawkeye. I thought that was really great. And I thought that was really amazing too. Also. Colby Smulders and Samuel Jackson. They're once again great here. I still like Colby Smulders in the part of Maria Hill. But my problem with her character. In the second film. Is that she is there helping the team. So she, so it's kind of something to do. But I feel like she could have done more. I feel like she could have done more, but I'd still like Colby Smalls doing a great job. Also, I can't forget about Jeremy Renner. I don't want to re-review of Age of Ultron without mentioning Jeremy Renner. This guy's awesome. He got more to do here, and I love his scenes with his family. I love the scenes with him on the team. I love the scene with him and Elizabeth Olsen where he's talking like... I have to go back out there and fight. I can't do my job and babysit. It's not my job. If you stay here, you're you're good. But if you go out the door, you're an Avenger. I do like that part where he tells her what ha what, what you did to our team. None of that matters. I like that part. And yeah, he's great here, and I have to say he was good. Also, how can I not talk about this movie and not talk about Vision? 
Paul Bettany is awesome as Vision. His performance is Vision. Woo! Vision is a cool character. I love him. He's one of my favorite MCU characters. I hope he survives the Infinity War, but we don't kind of we. It's they're doing it to where you can't, you don't, they can't tell you who is going to live or who's going to die. But we'll find out in Infinity War. Also, this movie was my introduction to Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. My favorite, my personal favorite MCU female character. I love Black Widow. I love Gamora. I love Nebula. I love all the other MCU female characters, but Scarlet Witch, this is my favorite MCU character. I like her, her powers, her idea of like being able to control your mind. I like that part. I love Dote. And I thought that was really great, and I think that was really fantastic in what they wanted to do. So, also, I really enjoy that aspect. I thought her performance was great. So, yeah, that was pretty fantastic, and that was pretty amazing. So, yeah, it's cool. Yes, for those who did not know, Quicksilver dies in this movie. When I first saw that, like I said, I hated that part of the movie. But I've grown to like that part because of the... And also, I knew he was... Even though the actors signed on for multiple films, they haven't used them yet. But, yeah. It's actually a sadder, heartbreaking moment. And... I have to say... Did job did a good job, and he did a really good job. Joss Whedon did a good job at actually deciding to kill off someone. And when her brother dies, you feel it. They don't play the scream. You just hear. You just hear the music. And speaking of the music, Danny Elfman and Brian Tyler's music is great in here. I love the music. I think the music is great. I think it's awesome. I love the rendition of the Avengers. I, I love Danny Elfman every time he does a superhero movie theme. And it's awesome. It's awesome. Brian Tyler also did a really great job, too. The visual effects, the action sequences are well shot. Joss Whedon knows how to shoot a movie and he knows visual effects. And the effects are really good. This movie has like a 200 something million dollar budget. It's not going to look good on screen. And it made that million dollar budget back. <clears throat> also. Another thing I feel like that. I really have to praise. Is the, the, the tone and the direction. This movie is a darker sequel. But it's not too dark. They're saving the extreme darkness for Infinity War. Which I, we are getting closer to. And I have to say it's, it's amazing. I think it's amazing. I think it's great. I think that is really fascinating on the director's part. And it's just, it's just really great to see that. And... I really think that it was a it was a wise decision for them to do, and the the humor is still funny, the jokes are still funny. I still love everything else. Also, we had Andy Circus in here for a bit as Ulysses Clyde. I really enjoyed him. I knew he was not going to get more to do because. It's the Avengers movie. It's not the Andy Serkis movie. You want Andy Serkis in a large screen presence, go watch one of these Andy Serkis Caesar playing the Apes movies. And I liked Claudia Kilm as Dr. Cho. I liked her for the screen time she had. I thought she was great too. And there's a lot of good, more good than bad in this movie. When I really, when you really sit down and think about it, I don't think this is the worst MCU movie. I don't think this is the worst Avengers movie. I don't think this is the worst movie 
in the MCU. This is still my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. And the ending, I'm pretty satisfied with, too. And overall, Avengers Age of Ultron is a movie that just gets so much negativity from everyone. It's not the, that bad of a movie. This is the most underrated MCU movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is still my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. It's way better than what half the haters on YouTube and professional critics say. And it satisfied me. This is one of my favorite films. Twenty. It's my third favorite movie of 2016. It was an awesome time to watch. I will rebuy this. I will. Put, this is on my Amazon. So, I will put get this part of the MCU stuff. So, you know what? Yeah, I love this movie. This movie is not that bad, people. If this movie was as bad as everyone said it out, I would have hated it. But I don't. But, yeah. Avengers Age of Ultron is an underrated masterpiece. I think this is just as great as the first one. I think this is even better than the first Avengers in a lot of aspects. Call me a fanboy, call me an Age of Ultron the geek if you want to, but guess what? I praise this movie because I want to praise this movie because I love this movie that much. And you already know what I'm going to give this. There's no question about that. So, that was my analyzed re-review of Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm yeah, I'm sorry I went defense mode, but guess what? I want it Avengers Age of Ultron will get my JD Rainbow Seal of Approval. Underrated MCU movie. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of Avengers Age of Ultron. Do you think this movie is underrated? Does it get too much hate? Is this your favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie too? If not, how would you put this? Would, and if you hate the movie, I would like to know why. If you love the movie, tell me why. So, that was my re-review of Infinity War. Infinity War comes out April 27th. I can't wait to do it. Talk about that. Look out for more videos on my channel. And, like I said, this is... 10.56 now as I'm recording this. So when you see this, this will be April 1st. So and if you like this, you guys can come here and we can have a good time. That was the wrong outro. <laughs> My new outro. If you guys like this, you can like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Tell me what what you guys, guys will like to see next. Go to my my social media links are in the description box and in in the about tab down below on my channel. And until next time, this is Future Filmmaker three nine four zero. And you guys keep it cool. Ten happy ten year anniversary, Marvel. I love you.